There's nothing more frustrating than writing a filter query, for example, knowing that it works on one list and won't work on another list. This can be a very frustrating experience for all of us. I'm gonna walk you through kind of a workaround that I've discovered and that I do too often uh, to work around these kind of anomalies uh, within the Microsoft product set. So uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about Power Automate and SharePoint lists today, so stay tuned. We're gonna troubleshoot this one together. So to get started, we really wanna look at the list itself. This list, I'm pulling data from this list. I'm just setting up a manual trigger I'm doing it for this video because of this weird anomaly, but you could this could be any scheduled event and we're pulling items here and I'm just dumping it to an HTML table so that we can see it once it dumps. Um, but you could be dumping it to an email message or you know whatever whatever floats your boat, right? So so let's look at the log here. First of all, the list. The list has a column called status and if you look inside here, this is a single line of text everything's fine, nothing unique about this at all. It's just a column with data. Now let's go over to our flow. And what we're doing here is we're calling, it's a manual trigger, we're calling the site, we're calling that log, RMA log automation, and we're getting a substring of this. And we want, we're looking for in the status column, S-T-A-T-U-S, S-T-A-T-U-S, we're looking for status there of new RMA, and then we're gonna print this out inside of a HTML table for us just to view and uh, look, see what our results are. And as soon as we run it, it comes up and gives us an error. We can't find this column status, it does not exist. <laughs> so, okay. So you begin your troubleshooting adventure, right? And now you say, well, is it the location of the column? You know, should it be here instead of here? I've moved this column to multiple places. It's not the location. It's, it's something else. So then you keep troubleshooting. You think to yourself, well, maybe, maybe it's because I have two words in here. So let's just change it to one word and try that. Tried, I did do that. I actually looked for the word accounting. Or no, I'm sorry, I looked for received. It still didn't pull it up. So that's not the problem. Last thing I did to troubleshoot this issue and something you may want to do as well is if you look down here I created a new column called status 2 and I thought what the heck let's just do status 2 and see if it picks up the data and doesn't fault out. So I kept every value exactly the same except for 2. I changed here what column I wanted to look in for new RMA, RMA and then here under status I changed it to status 2 from status. That's it. Just so that I could see my results. And let's go ahead and test this and see what happens. So I think you can pretty much guess since I'm doing a video on it, it's probably going to be successful, which it is. All right. So our flow ran successfully. And for you that are not familiar with this style of testing here, I can just click on that table. I can see what items, right? I can look at it, but I don't need to because I've got all the data right here. And I've got an output right here in the HTML table and it pulled all of these things that are equal to new RMA. So if you're having this problem with finding, whoops, with finding data within your, um, you know, you're narrowing down, you're finding data and you're having this weird column problem, then um, just try creating a workaround, which is just copy all that data into another uh, column and then and then go from there now I haven't erased status two and erase status and kind of recopied again that would probably fix the problem and I go back to the status column if I had to but this is a real quick and easy workaround uh, for this very can be very frustrating problem 